how do I answer case study questions relating to the PPC? Now, for case study questions relating to the PPC, there are two types. The first one is when you're asked to explain the concept of opportunity cost using a PPC. So for such questions, I have four steps to, to follow. Okay. Sorry, the acronym doesn't sound very uh, courteous. It's D-A-M-N, DAM. So what do you do? I think to be conservative, the first step, D, is to define your PPC. Follow your notes, okay? It's the maximum combination of goods and services that can be produced in the economy when resources are fully and efficiently utilized. That's D, followed by A. A is a very important assumption. You have to assume that the economy was originally on the PPC. That means you have full employment. Now, why is this the case? Just imagine if you are further in towards the origin, you can actually produce more of both goods without incurring a trade-off. There's no op cost. So for you to explain op cost using a PPC, you have to assume it is on the PPC. Okay, that's A. M means to discuss the movement along the PPC towards either axis. So you have to decide from the question or the extract what to put on the axis. And after you've decided what to put on the axis, you move in one direction towards the Y or the X axis along the PPC, okay? The last one, N. N means you have to discuss the next best alternative for gone, which is your op cost, right? So on your diagram, as you move from one point to another point along the PPC, just use a numerical example, okay? To show as you produce... Uh, let's say 20 units more of good A, you give out 30 units of good B. And that should suffice, okay? D, A, M, N. In the next video, I'll explain another question type.